What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the specs of the Motorola Moto X to the HTC One. Now the Moto X has been one of the most rumored and most anticipated devices recently. And it comes into an already competitive market of Android smartphones, which includes the HTC One. That's been very, very popular recently. So which is the better device and which is the one to go for? Well, do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out in this head-to-head -head spec comparison. So let's start off with what you'll be looking at most, which is the screen. Both of these have a 4.7 inch screen, so very similar here, but the difference is in terms of resolution, the HTC One has that 1080p display, so that's 1920, by 1080 pixels, one of the highest pixel densities out there right now, 468 PPI. That's a very, very high pixel density, very crisp and sharp display here. The Moto X has a 720p display. So that's a 1280 by 720 with a 316 PPI. So the HTC One here definitely has a better display. It's gonna provide a much more crisp text and sharper images because of that amazing PPI that you've got on there. The Moto X is similar to the Nexus 4 and the S3 which released last year. So it really depends on how important uh, the resolution is to you. But so uh, pixel for pixel, 1080p videos and things are gonna be looking better on the HTC One. Now looking at the physical size of both of these devices, how different are these? Well, the Moto X is smaller than the HTC One in terms of height, roughly about eight millimeters, around about three millimeters in width as well. Although it's just about a millimeter thicker than the HTC HTC One. Now the HTC One is slightly heavier than the Moto X, roughly about 13 grams. And one of the reasons for that is probably because of the aluminium unibody design. It's a very, very premium build. One of the key selling points of the HTC One, arguably one of the most premium smartphones out there, one of the most premium Android smartphones out there. So very, very nice to see here. And you've got it available in the black, the silver, and also a limited red edition as well. Now the Moto X, this is what's quite unique about it and this is what makes it stand out from lots of other devices out there. You've got the option of having it customized. So you've got 18 back colors, seven accent colors, as well as two types of cases. So that's very, very interesting to see here. The black and the white versions are gonna be the standard versions available from stores, but you will be able to go on to the Moto Maker site and customize your device. Roughly about a four day turnaround time, is that what, that's what they're saying in the US anyway. So that's gonna be really really interesting to see you've got all these different options and you're going to be able to customize it to what you like now moving on to the internals what's powering these devices the HTC one has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core crate processor with the Adreno 320 GPU now Moto X has the same GPU however it's got a dual core 1.7 gigahertz crate processor so you know you've got this uh, difference here the HTC one does have the quad core versus the dual core in terms of benchmarks the HTC one is performing better as well performance side by side we will have to see those side by side. I think general tasks you shouldn't see too much of a problem, but maybe for some of those high intensive tasks, the HTC One will be performing better. Both of these also have two gigabytes of RAM, which is great to see. Pretty standard on Android smartphones these days. Great for multitasking. And in terms of the different versions available with the Moto X, you've got the 16 and 32 gigabyte versions. With the HTC One, you've got the 32 and 64 gigabyte versions. Now cameras, this is gonna be a very interesting battle, a low light battle actually, because the HTC One has that four megabyte pixel ultra pixel camera which uh, boasts a 300% more light that's what HTC say anyway the Moto X has a clear pixel technology. So you've got 10 megapixels at the clear pixel technology that Motorola is saying will give you 75% more light compared to standard cameras. Now side-by-side -side comparisons will have to be seen here. We'll have to test these out properly side-by-side, -side, but it is gonna be a real battle in terms of the low light performers. Touching on some of the features, I mean, the HTC One has things like HTC Zoe, but the Moto X, they've got some brand new features. If you flick your wrist twice with the phone, that will activate the camera quite nicely to see something new and different and uh, you've also got some uh, gesture controls as well so firstly you can uh, touch anywhere on the screen to take a picture and also you can use your thumb uh, to zoom in and out as well so that's really good to see so one-handed usage is going to be quite nice on uh, the Moto X 1080p filming from the rear facing cameras on uh, both of these 2 megapixels versus 2.1 megapixels in terms of the front facing cameras again both of these do 1080p as well now looking at the operating systems that uh, both have Android Jelly Bean 4.2.0 
2.2. HTC One uh, does have uh, the uh, HTC Sense UI, so uh, that's the custom skin of HTC on top. The Moto X is not stock Android. It is a little bit of a difference, so you know you have some additional features, such as all this on voice commands. So you can just say OK Google now, and that will activate the device. Quite nice to see. You've also got pulse notifications uh, on the screen, so they're just gonna preview on the screen without taking up too much battery. Both of these features, that's what they're saying. Now the HTC packs some tricks of its own. It's got those uh, dual uh, frontal stereo speakers, the HTC Boom Sound uh, stereo speakers, which are arguably the best speakers on any smartphone out there at the moment. And it's also got an IR blaster as well. So a few advantages here for the HTC One too. Battery 2,200 milliamps versus 2,300 milliamps. Now although they're quite similar here, Motorola are saying you're gonna be getting some uh, serious usage out of the Moto X, up to 24 hours of mixed usage. That's, that's what they're saying. That's very, very impressive. Now again, we'll have to see these hands-on, but because it's a lower resolution screen, you're not pushing out as many pixels, then you are likely to see a slightly better battery performance on uh, the Moto X. Now finally, moving on to price, uh, the uh, Moto X was predicted to be similar pricing range to the Nexus 4 offline, quite a budget device but that's not the case right now. You won't be able to get it offline straight away. You're gonna be having to go for a 24 month contract, $199 in the US is what the price recommendation is. Comparing that to the HTC One, roughly roundabout, you can get it for about $99 on a 24 month contract. So you are gonna be paying a little bit more for the Moto X. The HTC One is also available offline here in the UK for roughly about 450 to 500 pounds. Now, the Moto X, there has been no word on a UK release as yet. US and Canada, they're saying late August, early September, so that's when we're gonna be seeing it. But no word on the UK or any of the markets right now, which is very, very disappointing because I am from the UK and I wanna get these devices in hand as soon as possible. But that's not gonna be the case right now because they've decided to have a US only release. As soon as there's more information available, I will be dropping some details in the description below, so do watch out for that. So those were the differences between these two devices, the Moto X and the HTC One. The HTC One are offering some higher specs, especially that screen. You've got that 1080p screen with that amazing PPI, whereas Motorola it looks like they're concentrating more on experiences rather than specs. And it is have some lower specs, but it really depends on what's more important to you. Do you want that customizability of the Moto X or do you want that premium body feel of the HTC One with that amazing PPI? I don't know which one would you go for. Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.